hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm going to be showing you what i've been up to for the better part of the month i received some packages i ordered some things from amazon to use for ingredients for my body butter making and my business overall so here i am just unboxing some of those things i have some citro alcohol beads i have some steric wax and a little mini um preservative because i was running out of preservatives but i just needed a little bit and the big ones ran out of stock so next thing i did what i received was my jars and containers for my products which will be launching at the end of the month july 31st at 12 p.m website is in the description and yeah this is the jars that i got i didn't want to get too much i only got about 100 this time only because i'm always thinking about changing like my labels my containers my designs and stuff like that so i just wanted to keep it small for like a few months and then just to have a think about and figure out what i want to do next but um for the first few months probably till the end of the year i will still be using the same containers and stuff so next thing i did was i made my foaming body scrubs and this is actually going to be like the updated version because now it includes shea butter if you watched my foaming body scrub from last year you would have gotten an idea of how i make it but this time i've added shea butter into the formulation as well so here i am just putting the soap base in and then I'm going to add this sort of like shea butter mixture, which I've already done beforehand. And yeah, I'm going to mix all of that together. And I really, really like this new formula because I think it helps the soap lather up a little bit more. Whereas in the past, I would have to add more oils and I've even experimented as adding a little bit of water, um, purified water that is just to sort of like get the an even better texture but i think i finally found something that i'm happy about but you know me i'm always playing with the formulations in the background anyway here i am just mixing everything together and yeah this this, this takes quite a little bit takes a little while to do but i honestly enjoy making body scrubs so so much like the entire process and i i mean it's a lot easier to make than body butters which i i will be showing you guys how to make the whipped body butters in the future but um i'm currently thinking about scrapping whipped body butters because they do melt in summer so for summer they will not be available on my website but i would still have something new which is the emulsified body butters they do not melt so that's just great and perfect for summertime and it's a lot more hydrating and less greasy so this is pretty much what that base looks like and now i'm adding some sugar i've added my oils as you guys know i like to do all of that beforehand and then towards the end that's when i add my fragrance colorings and preservatives and stuff like that so here i am just mixing everything together i've seen people mix these with their hands with gloves on not their actual hands but um i personally prefer to use a spatula or to use the mixing um machine so here i am just checking the texture you know just making sure everything's good i really really enjoy this process obviously as you can tell so i'm um, literally just enjoying the texture and the way it looks the way it feels i'm just making sure everything's great and here i am just putting them in different bowls and containers because i am going to separate them into their different colors and stuff like that so here i'm actually showing you the process of how i put them into the containers so I get a piping bag and I just cut it at the ends so that there's space enough to actually put the piping metal tip. So here I'm just making sure there's enough space at the bottom and then I'm going to push it through 
the piping bag and that's pretty much how I do that part. And here I have like the baking paper or baking cling film, whatever you want to call them. I think in America it's called like a present seal or something. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the Dreamy Coconut Body Scrub. So these are the two colors in there. And now I'm just, you know, because it's been like probably about a few hours since I made it. So I'm just mixing everything together again making sure that you know the consistency and everything is not just like weird so that's pretty much what i'm doing and then i'm gonna put it in the um baking paper and i'm gonna let you guys enjoy this part So here I've basically just put the two colors together and then I'm going to press it around and sort of like roll them up into like a burrito and just kind of press them together but not too much together to the point where it's like messing up the colors. Um, so yeah I like to put about equal amounts of both colors in there just to make sure that it looks a certain way that i like and want it to look like unless i know that i've made one color more than i've made the other and i just want to balance it up a little bit that might be intentional sometimes but um yeah otherwise i just do it like this i twist off the ends so nothing's coming out that end i put it in the piping bag and then i like to like push it down a little bit sometimes it can come up the other end so you want to be careful with that and here i am just piping the body scrubs I know that a lot of people assume that when we pipe our body care products that we're just putting in the bare minimum product but that's not true a lot of the time i will go in and tap the product and pipe it again and put the swirls in at the end or sometimes i will overfill the product and then tap it at the end to make sure it goes down into the container um we always make sure that the products are actually quite filled and whenever there's a mistake in production i usually mark down the price of the products and sometimes i just give it out as a free item in an order or return customer order so yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about the dreamy coconut it smells really good and here I am doing the pina colada scents. So the way I made this one, you can tell the color is a little bit more vibrant if you've been watching my channel or you watched last year's um, making of my foaming body scrubs. If you compare that color to this color, this one's a little bit more vibrant. And that's in the way I actually made the base of the body scrub for this particular scent. And I'm actually so happy with the with the results because I think it looks better this way. And um, also, I think that is what I'm going to be doing going forward. So the rest of the video, my body scrubs are pretty much going to be a little bit more creamy, off-white looking, um, like the first one. Whereas this one, the color is really, really vibrant. And so I will be sticking to that in the future um so yeah i'm just putting that together pina colada is actually one of the very popular scents on my website and we did really well last year but it was it was very much a summer scent but this year i'm thinking of making it a permanent scent because of how much people love it and i had people asking me when is it going to be back and things like that so i will definitely be um 
thinking about making it more of a more permanent scent um yeah so pretty much that is done for the pina colada as well i'm just going to wrap everything up and then put it in a burrito again and show you guys what the piping and result looks like So like I said, this is what the pina colada one looks like and this is how I actually want to pipe my products in terms of body scrubs now. Rather than using a piping tip, I would just have it with like a round, I do have round tips but I have a really small one but I needed it to be slightly bigger for the container jars and this is pretty much how I want to start piping my body scrubs. Because of the way I did the formulations for this particular body scrub, I couldn't even use a piping tip. It was too thick. So, yeah. But I do love how vibrant and colorful it is, which is what I think my customers will enjoy more than seeing the swells on the body scrub. The swells on the body butters are essential, are great. It's part of the experience, in my opinion. But for body scrubs, it's not needed. I think the colors, the smell, everything else is so amazing and that's enough. So here I am making another one of my body scrubs and just adding the colors in and mixing it together. I think the purple was actually too much, but um, it ended up looking pretty good. <laughs> So here I am just putting that together. So this scent is called Sugared Pears. This is a very much like a, a pear drop candy nostalgic scent. It's a very sweet, fresh, fruity scent. At the same time, it's, it's really, really special to me. Really, really good. I love the scent. So here I am repeating the process again. I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the video and enjoy the ASMR as well. So last but not least, I am making our Peach Fusion Body Scrub, which smells freaking amazing. It's like a tropical peach, fruity, mango, mouth-watering dance of dried fruits, vanilla, and sugar. It smells so, so freaking good. So yeah, here I am just making that, and that is the last and final scrubs of the summer. And yeah, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy what it looks like, the colours and everything.
So this is pretty much what all the scrubs looked like before I put them in the container jars. And this is what the Peach Fusion one looks like with the label and everything on it. I will show you more pictures in the future. But these are all the scrub combinations. They look really pretty, really beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.